my life purpose is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> okay. okay, 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 okay. Let's try this again. My life purpose is to bully people into saving more money. You can't always control how much more money you can make, but you can always control how much money you save and where you put your money that you're currently making. Happy Black Friday. Um, yeah, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I don't really know if this pertains to Black Friday, Cyber Monday, to be honest. I'm getting this like the week before. Oh, hi. But I thought I'd show you some luxury items that definitely don't have Black Friday sales and some things that might definitely have Black Friday sales. All right, so first of all, that background is very uh, clutterous. Is that a word? Clutterous? <laughs> Got a lot of clutter in that back. Yo, what is going on? Bear box. Yo, I'm. Yo. I like having a clear space, you know, as a minimalist, right? This is my worst nightmare. This is my worst nightmare. Having all the, yo, what, what is this? What are we, what are we saying right now, bro? <laughs> oh yeah, this is a friendly reminder for y'all to sell some of the things you have in your house. Sell or donate, just give, you know, when, when you have less clutter and especially in your work area, there's a reason why you feel overwhelmed when your workspace has clutter around it. So if your house, your area of living has clutter around it, you feel stressed. You have unnecessary stress around your life. Declutter, that involves selling or donating your clothes away. The way she's living right now, why why, why do we have a, a haul? I know obviously she's making money off of the things that she bought by making the video. But the average person is probably not making a video haul on the things they bought. Oh, um, yeah, that's basically just me having a shopping addiction and trying to justify it to you, my lovely YouTube audience. Um, okay, so let's just get right into it. The very first thing I got for myself, all I want for Christmas this year is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I did a whole unboxing on my TikTok, and actually, to be honest, I really don't care about new technology, but my, my phone really does start acting up. Like, I don't have the keyboard. The keyboard never pops up anymore, so <sighs> iPhone does it every time. They F up your phone, so you have to get a new one. So I did get a new one, and it's back here. It's currently sinking. Oh, okay. So I got a gold, but it doesn't really look it's like a silver. Whatever. That's what, that's what we have working. Um, so I got that. Um, from Hot Topic, I got Baby Yoda because I think he's actually so cute. I haven't seen the Mandalorian, Mandalorian. Um, I heard he has a really cute storyline, and um, I just think he's adorable. I don't even have to see it to love the characters. I just love the characters of Star Wars, and I've never seen. Well, I think I saw like one or two Star Wars, but. I definitely fell asleep each time. Those types of purchases can be, depending on, you know, your, what you like. People love certain, like, very, I don't, I would say weird, but a certain niche type of ornaments around their house. So, right? It can be cool. But her house is already cluttered with so much stuff. It's like, what's the point of buying the extra ornament, so to speak? This is just so random. It's definitely like a used copy, but I've been loving reading lately. So I got Monica's story. They don't sell these at, like... This is like so hard to find. I think I have mine on Amazon like used. I love how like the old school books used to do this. Britney Spears had books with like colored photos in the middle of like black and white pages. It was really cool. So yeah, I started reading this and I I really like it. Codependent No More is also what I'm currently rereading and um, the Mel Brooks book that I talked about. Yo, why is she out of breath? Yo, shorty, Trisha. Why are you out of breath? Why are you out of breath? What's going on? Um, I got these. I'm blinged up. They're UGG slippers, which are gonna be my house when I get to myself when I move. <laughs> so, I the slippers. I, uh, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This just this video is is really, you know, those ones with people who are neat freaks. I'm not like a neat freak, but like it's just giving me like anxiety. The thing, the fact that she bought more stuff in in addition to the clutter that's already in the yo the background, bro. Oh, let's zoom in real quick. What is the background saying right now? You got how many boxes of Nike stuff there? You got bear. What's in the background? Cause she had not like cleaned up the background a little bit before she filmed the video. Sheesh. Clean. I already showed that. Um, okay. Moving on. I got some new pairs of shoes. I got some bands and some Nikes. 
I know. What year is this? 2005? Oh, foreshadowing. Announcement coming next Tuesday. <laughs> um, I got these ones because they remind me of Blink-182. Always one of them was good. Never got them. So I got them now. The night pictures of choice because I love going on my walks. I got Nike Air Max. I got these just from Nike.com. They are hot, hot pink. They're even brighter than you like in person. And the Air Max make it super easy to walk. The discomfort is lessened. My fat thighs say otherwise when they shave, but yeah. Okay. You know, I understand sneaker culture. Like, you're having a collection of shoes that you enjoy. Basketball shoes, regular shoes, whatever, etc. But like, you know, I'm just missing my question. It's like, really, how many pairs of shoes are you gonna really wear in a given year? You know, <laughs> I got one dress shoe, one pair of boots, and then one regular shoe. I got three. I got three shoes to my name. Enough is enough. I have had it with the right. So it's like, unless. I don't know, I guess that's your brand. And then maybe you are making, see anytime you buy stuff, always ask yourself, can, can you make money off of this purchase? The things you bought this black, this past Black Friday, or the things you might buy on Christmas, or the things you might get as a Christmas gift, right? Can I make a video about it and put it on Amazon and make money off of it? Or can I be an affiliate for the brand and get, a, a, get some money by referring that link to other people, right? When they see my video. Anything you're, you're getting, receiving as a gift, or that you're actually buying yourself, right? Ask, just ask yourself, can I make money off of it? Or will buying this save me more money in the long run? And then you will have more of a practical attitude when it comes to buying. Like this past Black Friday, I had the intention already. I already knew I wanted to get a pair of pants because I only have, I think, one extra pair of pants. And I knew if I use this one every day, I have like a bit more larger size thighs, so it's gonna grip. I needed that, and then a, a more warmer <laughs> jacket than I had last summer or la last winter. So those two things I already knew I wanted to buy, but I just used Black Friday to get the discount. Whereas some people had nothing that they really wanted to buy, so they just bought stuff because it was a discount, <laughs> quote unquote. But you didn't save 30%, like we were saying. You spent. 70% more than you normally would have because you had nothing you really wanted to buy beforehand. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. You get me? The last sort of budget friendly place I went to was Ulta. And here's the things I got. I got a wet brush. It's like a wooden wet brush with Aurora on it. Which I'm very excited to use. I got a Kylie lip kit in Posey K, which I thought was super cool. I love overlining my lips because it's been a while since I got them injected and I'm not mad about it. Got some mascara because I no longer wear extensions, eyelash extensions, not because I don't want to, more because I'm lazy. Um, it Cosmetics Medium Tan, this is kind of like my go-to all the time. If you do my makeup tutorials, tutorials, me doing my makeup, <laughs> this is what I wear. And so I got some big stuff. You know, low-key, I I'm not sure if this is accurate or not, but I feel like if more girls spent more time on their skincare, they probably wouldn't need to have as much makeup or concealer or foundation stuff to like conceal certain flaws, right? Like the money spent on cosmetics, like in terms of like makeup-ish, if you, if you spent more money on the skincare, maybe talking to a dermatologist and seeing what, you know, your skin reacts to best, you may spend less money in the long run on makeup cosmetics. Uh, just a food for thought, you know what I'm saying? A dermatologist could very well be your best friend. Because I don't wash my hair for about 14 days. So it needs to hold the style that it is given. I got a medium contour stick. I like the trio set, but the trio sets are already sold out, so KKW PD. Okay, I love Ulta. I love me Sephora. I actually kind of prefer Sephora, but Ulta has a lot of different stuff, which I appreciate. Lip injection, lip injection, maximum pump. I love these. They really do work too. Lip injections. You know, it's funny. You know, growing up as a kid, you style like big lips, right? I always try to like uh, maneuver or structure my lips so that they weren't as, as big. Like I always try to do like, mm, I always try to like hide my lips, you know, like my the, the size of my lips. I just find it funny how nowadays people actually want to get bigger lips. Like they do lip injections, all this stuff. And I used to be so insecure about this shit growing up. 
What kind of tides have turned? Because we recognize that we have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. I'm obsessed with Phillips at the moment, in case you can't tell. I got this, Kylie and Kylie. These were so, like, always sold out, so I was always excited. Bro. That background, fam. I just, I just can't, like, I just can't, I just can't. Yo, what is actually going on with that background? Just bare stuff, holy. Yo, this is a sign, bro. This is a cautionary tale for all y'all. What are you buying? Like, what are you actually buying right now? <laughs> Yo, what is the background saying right now? Holy. <laughs> And then I got lip injection and stream. This is in a tangerine dream and um neutral medium, which I think is a lighter shade maybe. I love it. Cosmetics CC cream is really my favorite. It doesn't it tends to like not break me up the most and it has most coverage. And then finally, um I got a, a cosmetics gel liner. I like to wear blue on the bottom. Okay. Let's move on to a couple luxury items that I've been sitting here for a little bit. Luxury items, okay. Let's see, let's see. Where are the prices for this stuff though? What are you talking about the prices? Some boxes we've on. I really don't even know what is in here anymore. But we will open it up and find out because it's Black Friday. Saturday. It's kind of heavy. It's heavier than I thought. Okay, I'll loop it out. Ooh. Slip inside. Oh, these are shoes. No wonder they're heavy. Oh, these are so cute. I can't wait to wear these. These are actually so freaking cute. Leave it on boot. That was big. I'm usually size 37. It's super cute, but maybe with a sock. I'm kind of worried about my ankle, my little kinkle fitting in there, but I don't think this is so adorbs. And I guess we'll open up another one. Let's see, one. She doesn't even know which one to open. She got so many boxes, she doesn't know which one to open. I love Louis Vuitton so much. White, black, all set. Another big one. Ooh, what you do? They always label them for me when they send them. Okay, this is not in the way I thought. This is a set of cards. Ooh, oh, this is stunning. Oh, so cute. I love the black and white color block because I was obsessed with this uh, Shit's Creek 23, so this is totally a vibe. It's absolutely stunning. Like, gorgeous. Very different for Louis Vuitton, but beautiful nonetheless. If you can tell, I like gag for purses live breathe gag for them um okay so i know i did a lot of unboxing so if you want to see part two to the rest of my louis vuitton then like up this video i hope you had a great black friday of shopping this is a part two um, oh i feel bad i can't afford to shop <laughs> yo what do we say right now <laughs> ah, be for real oh my god you for real no you for fake no you for real You lying? You not? <laughs> it's a point too. I uh, you know, she's in a, she's in an interesting spot. Cause as you can see from the video, there was ads. She's making money off of her purchases, so she's kind of like, first of all, it's a tax. It could it, some of it could be a tax write off because she's using it as. She kind of basically, basically did kind of somewhat of a review on these products so she could get a tax write off. And then she's making money off of these purchases. The, the only drawback is the space and the stuff, the clutter that's accumulating in her household. So if she had the proper mindset, she could do this essentially make a review on it, talk about it, get that little tax write off, and then sell it. Right? But keep constantly keeping all, accumulating all this shit. It's not the way, bro. It is not the way. Before you buy stuff, ask yourself, how long, based on my hourly wage, will it take me to make this money back? If something costs $200 and you get to pay $20 per hour, is that item worth 10 hours of your life? Then again, can I make money off of these purchases? Can I, or will I save more money in the long run by getting this purchase? I may spend the money now for a dermatologist, 
But once I get the adequate, you know, skincare regimen for my skin type, I will probably save more money in the long run by not having to buy as many makeup cosmetics, for example, right? That kind of thinking, that kind of like consumer mindset puts you in a better headspace to not buy needless shit. That just takes the space in your house. <laughs> but yo, while you're here, watch my past video right here on why Black Friday and Christmas holiday shopping, the deals are low key a scam if you don't understand certain things about the price history of these products. Watch that video right here. Or watch my past video on how to quit your marijuana addiction right here. If you are someone who finds yourself spending too much money time and energy on the ganja you know you're trying to maybe take a tolerance break or just smoke less you know maybe once a week once every two weeks or so watch that video right here as well as always if it doesn't feed you don't water it and too much of any good thing is good for nothing how are you lot doing today say it with me i'm doing more saying less and keeping that same energy no cat flip the script i'm out deuces <laughs> Not my brethren, you're not my bro. Wasn't with me back then, I was doing 10.